Alright, hello guys, this is the Legendary Blah, and this tutorial will be on the other general functions of the mod management tab. So, um, I am going to teach you guys how to use the edit mod button, the delete mod button, the move up button, the move down button, the enable or disable button. Um, the edit Minecraft game and edit Minecraft source buttons won't be taught because I do not really support um, portable Minecraft. So yeah, let's get started then. So um, from my previous tutorial, adding mod manually, I've add a few mods. So right now my Minecraft has these mods installed. So for instance, if I type a mod name wrongly, so say I didn't type single play command, I type multi oops player command multiplayer commands then I might want to change it back into single player command. What I could do is I could click on edit mod and change my change the name of the mod or offer and version of the mod. So I could go ahead and type back single player commands, and this will uh, change the name of the mod. So I've covered the edit mod function. Now you would, if you got a mod you do you do not like and you think that it's wasting your computer space, then you could go ahead and click on delete mod. It will ask you to confirm whether or not you want to delete the mod. You should. You just need to go ahead and click yes. You know because you want to delete the mod. So it's now gone and everything's deleted about that mod. So after I've covered the delete mod function, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, teach you guys about the move up and move down buttons. These buttons are, um, are for moving the LO or load order of the mods. So, um, load order in mine mod only tool is um, the load order of mods. <laughs> All right. So, for example, the load order of mod loader is one, and too many items is two. So, mod loader will be added into Minecraft first before mod. Too many items is added. This load order, um, this load, ouch. This load order is necessary because there are some mods like the mod loader and mod loader MP where mod loader MP should not be um in front of mod loader. So uh, to change the load order of mods, you could go ahead and click move up or move down to move the objects I mean, to move the items up or down let's watch closely again too many items is 2 now too many items is 1 ok after I've covered the move up and move down feature I'm going to show you guys the enable and disable feature this feature um, enables or disables I mean it toggles between enabling or dis disabling a mod. So for example, right for example, if I suddenly feel like playing survival and and I don't feel like cheating, I could disable mod loader. I mean I could disable too many items and run Minecraft. Then I won't have too many items. Because um because I disabled the uh, thing. So weird. Oh right. How come I still have too many items? Oh my gosh. Oh wait. Sorry guys. I forgot to apply the changes. Always remember to apply changes when you are done mod managing. Look there. Eight unsafe changes. I should always apply changes. But before you click on apply changes, always remember to close the map Minecraft. So now we'll go ahead and apply changes. 
it's filling up the bar and changes saved. Okay, let's run Minecraft. Uh, here, let's see. There, now, no single player commands and no too many items. This is particularly useful when you want to play a creative world or play a uh, uh, survival world. So in this way you won't um, mess up your safe and you won't be able to cheat in uh, survival. Except I got diamond blocks from last time. Okay. Uh, So um now that you know how to um delete mod and enable or disable it, I'm gonna enable it back. You c the basic button features of the mod manager is covered. So um you could watch my next tutorials on how to use the backup feature, the browser and settings and stuffs. Yeah. So this is the end of my tutorial. This is the legendary blah uh goodbye guys.